about five years ago, I had travel plans that took me through southeastern Pennsylvania. So I said, I've got to stop and see Frank Lloyd Wright's masterpiece, Falling Water. It's about 45 miles southeast of Pittsburgh in the mountains, and uh, everybody's got to see it. It's fantastic. Hey, this is Greg McKay, uh, your real estate advisor, Caldwell Banker Wallace. Turns out there was another Frank Lloyd Wright house nearby called Kentuck Knob. It's just four miles uh, away from Falling Water. So I had to go over there, too, and take a look at it. Now, this was one of Frank Lloyd Wright's Usonian houses, just simple, very similar to a ranch house. In fact, his Usonians, the ranch house is the descendant of the Usonian homes. They're built for the common man, he said. Uh, most of the time we think of Frank Lloyd Wright, we think of huge buildings like the Guggenheim. And whatever this one is, if you know, please put it in the comments. But Lloyd built 60 Usonian homes. They're scattered all across the country. This one uh, sits on a knob and looking over, you can see all the way there in the gap is Maryland. So uh, here I was in front of the house on the tour. They're uh, noted for their, you know, vertical roof lines, the uh, cantilevered uh, overhangs, which serve as passive solar design. Uh, they block out the summer sun and they allow the winter sun to come in and, and heat up the house. Uh, it was indescribably beautiful. They're full of natural light with the clustery window, clustery windows. Uh, much like Falling Water, this house was made to fit in with its natural surroundings. It was made of native sandstone. They used uh, Tidewater Red Cypress. Wright did not believe in um, garages or basements. He said that's where people piled up junk. And in fact, Frank Lloyd Wright was the one who invented, he coined the term carport. As I said, there's over 60 Usonian houses across the country. He'd originally planned to build them for $5,000 a piece. Uh, they ended up, uh, the cost went up, and they ended up being $10,000 a piece. Um, gosh, I wish we had some houses like that today, huh? Be good for real estate. But uh, now there's some on the market. You can't. The lowest price one I saw was a million and a half. So, but he was trying to build them. These are not for for poor people, just for. Average middle class people, a house that they could afford. It was, uh, it was beautiful and had some style to it. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this. This is Greg McKay, your real estate advisor at uh, Caldwell Banker Wallace. If you like this, check out my YouTube channel. Uh, I've got some more. You, if you can subscribe, it would really help me. I'd appreciate it. And if you've got any questions at all about real estate or about Knoxville, feel free to call me. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.